Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris. It's your boy, Chris. It's another amazing episode of Finance and Patient. This channel is all about making money. It's all about saving money. It's all about building generational wealth. And it's all about financially emancipating yourself from generational poverty. So on this channel, everybody, I give you a six-figure MBA level worth of investing and financial advice for free here on YouTube. And the things that people typically spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn in grad school and in business school, I give it to you on this channel for free, okay? So today, guys, we're going to talk about an extremely powerful um, type of investment that uh, are called REITs or whatever. Yes, R-E-I-T, uh, Real Estate Investment Trust. We're going to talk about these because I think they're one of the uh, hidden gems when it comes to the financial market. And to be honest with you, if you come from a community that looks like me, it's just something that we did, generally did not talk about in the hood, in the barbershops, playing basketball or growing up or whatever. Uh, we don't talk about REITs pretty much in the barbershops or in the um, barbecues or the basketball courts. And I want to change that. All right. So first and foremost, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. So once again, REIT, R-E-I-T, a real estate investment trust. Think of these like this. Think of them as companies that invest in real estate. So just like Hennessy invest in alcohol, Tesla invest in cars or whatever, um, and Google and uh, Google or whatever, they invest in more or less in technology. REITs, they invest in real estate. So um, REITs, basically, they sell and they operate real estate profits and real estate for profit. And these are absolute great opportunities or whatever for you to invest in real estate. And um, index fund REITs or whatever, in my opinion, are some of the best ways to, to absolutely diversify your fidelity, your portfolio, your fidelity, your Charles Schwab or your Vanguard accounts, okay? And um, I'll give you an example. One of my wife's and I's uh, index funds or whatever, uh, one of our index fund REITs with fidelity, it has an average of over 15% with a return on investment over the last 10 years. In other words, people, it's uh, one of the only, it's on one of the only things in my portfolio that consistently beats some of the total stock market index funds that I invest in, all right? So as I said earlier, similar to a total stock market index fund that takes roughly, uh, that combines roughly 4,000 uh, stocks or whatever um, into uh, one stock for you to purchase, um, a total REIT or whatever, a total REIT index fund, it takes the same, it does the same concept where it takes the best commercial real estate stocks or whatever, and it combines them into one fund. And those are the ones that I would advise people to uh, mostly, uh, most likely to go with, okay? So uh, some of the pros as far as going with the REIT. Um, one of the good things about going with the REIT is that they allow you once again to buy real estate without actually having the hassles of buying real estate. So what I mean, that's what I mean by that. Anyone that's ever been a landlord knows this. You got people calling you at one o'clock in the morning to fix the toilet. You got people calling you at three o'clock in the morning because there's a leaky roof or whatever. The beautiful things about REITs or whatever, one thing that I absolutely love about them is that once again, they allow you to buy real estate without having to hear from a, um, hearing sob stories from realtor, I'm sorry, from tenants that basically can't pay the rent the first of the month. The beautiful thing about REITs is that they allow you to invest in real estate without having to essentially evict people. So you don't have to buy, manage, or finance, or maintain the property, but you still get the benefits of um, basically uh, being a real estate investor. So you simply invest and voila, you reap, essentially reap the rewards of real estate as a stockholders of a REIT make a profit, okay? And in many ways, as I said earlier, you essentially get the benefits of owning real estate without any of the issues. You don't have to worry about the evicting tenants. You don't have to worry about the maintenance. You don't have to worry essentially about the taxes to some extent. So REITs are one of those kind of things that to me, when you actually kind of understand them, they are, in my opinion, some of the best ways to absolutely um, diversify your portfolio. Um, another thing I love about REITs too is that uh, it allows you to more or less to specialize in what you actually, what kind of real estate you want to invest in. If you want to invest in data centers, there's a REIT for that. If you want to invest in hospitals, there's a REIT for that. If you want to invest in commercial real estate, there's a REIT for that. There's even REITs um, basically if you want to invest in land and in timber. So if you want to invest in real estate or whatever, uh, there is a REIT for it. And if you think the way that I think, which is total diversification, there are uh, specific total REITs or whatever that invest in everything. They invest in healthcare. They invest in commercial properties. They invest in individual homes. They invest in uh, real estate. I'm sorry, they invest in uh, residential properties. They invest in the healthcare industry. So if you want to invest in real estate, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, REITs are essentially the way to go, okay? And uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, how exactly do REITs work or whatever? So think of it like this, uh, REITs, they essentially lease space to a commercial or a residential client, okay? So um, dividends. Another thing that I love about REITs is that by law, they have to give a certain percentage or whatever of their profits every year and pay it out to them I mean, every month and pay it out to their investors or whatever in dividends. So at the time of this recording, REITs are required by law to distribute 90% of the profits that they make for their incomes to their shareholders and to their, um, income and, and to their uh, stockholders and everything. So they return these profits to you and um, in, in the consumer in um, form of payment called dividends. For instance, my wife and I own a REIT that pays out roughly 5% dividends by law 
and that averaged over 19% last year in investment uh, earnings, okay? We take those dividends, that 5% dividends that we get or whatever, we take those dividends and we essentially reinvest them back into the uh, back into the uh, REIT or whatever. It's called a drip, essentially. And by doing that, essentially, our compound interest is just rolling and rolling on top of itself. And then it's a phenomenal way, people, to essentially continue to stack their paper and to make more and more money. Uh, before I go any further, everybody, please hit that notification button or whatever uh, so you know when I drop new content. And also, additionally, please uh, hit that like button. Please comment. Please subscribe. It helps the algorithm. And I thoroughly enjoy giving you guys um, free content, okay? So let's keep it moving. Uh, now I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of REITs or whatever. One thing I love about a REIT is that it essentially makes real estate very easy. Real estate investment trust or REITs, they make real estate easy, they make it simple, they make it cheap, and they make it very straightforward. If you go through Fidelity, you can buy REITs literally for less than $10. Imagine if I told you you could get into real estate for under $10. Well, with a REIT, you can do that. I have also found that when you buy stock in real estate, it's kind of weird. Your body kind of, your mind kind of goes through this metamorphosis where you start saying, okay, because I'm already buying stock in real estate, people start looking at real estate differently. It kind of starts getting the, um, the gears moving as far as trying to become a real estate investor down the line, okay? Next. REITs allow you to be a real estate tycoon without the headache or the stress. When you invest in um, real estate investment trust, you can essentially can be Grant Cardone or another one of these uh, real estate people or whatever, one of these real estate tycoons without the stress and without the issues that come with that or whatever. Once again, you can invest literally anything in any type of REIT or whatever, whether it's $1, whether it's $10, whether it's $100, whether you want to invest in daycares or whatever, hospitals, schools, all these, there are different REITs for all this kind of stuff. Strip malls, commercial office buildings, single family homes, townhomes, you can literally invest in almost any type of REIT or whatever. And if you invest the way that I do, I prefer total diversification. So the REITs that I invest into, they, they invest in all these kinds of things, okay? Next. Uh, REITs historically, actually, this is something that kind of blew my mind when I started looking at it, and I'm very happy to say this. REITs historically do better than the S&P 500 and the Total Stock Market Index Fund. So if you're not familiar with the S&P 500 is, the S&P 500 are the 500 best stocks on the stock market. Over the last 20 years, the S&P 500 has averaged 10%, okay? A Total Stock Market Index Fund essentially consists of three to 4,000 stocks on the stock market, okay? And the, to the total stock market index fund typically averages between 11 to 12% over the last 10 years. The Fidelity REITs that my wife and I use or whatever, they have averaged over 16% the last 10 years. So I don't care how you look at it. Uh, REITs essentially are better investments than the S&P 500, and they have better investments or whatever over the last 10 years than the total stock market index fund, which is amazing. Next, REITs surprisingly do better than traditional real estate rentals. And this is also something that uh, has kind of blown my mind. Long-term real, real estate, when you have a good tenant and the economy is doing well, and anybody, uh, anybody that's in the real estate investor, how often does that happen? We have good tenants and the economy is doing well. But um, typically speaking, long-term real estate investments, when you have a good tenant and the economy is doing well, they only average about 9% returns each year, according to Investopedia. REITs, however, real estate investment trusts, on average, average about 15% per year. And once again, this 15% is very easy because you don't have to worry about hiring a handyman. You don't have to worry about fixing toilets at 1 a.m. You don't have to hear sob stories about why people can't pay their rent at the beginning of the month. And you also don't have to worry about evicting people. So you're essentially, also all the negatives about basically having real estate get removed with REITs, but all the positives are there as far as the cash flow and as far as the fact that God makes more people, but he does not make more land. So you are always gonna need somebody basically for real estate. And lastly, REITs provide instant real estate diversification. Real estate investment is literally all over the world. And in the same respects, REITs therefore invest all over the world. If you invest in a total stock market REIT or whatever that averages the top real estate investment fund, it gives you a total diversification all over the world. And once you basically get this total diversification, when you get these dividends, you can easily reinvest that money directly back into the uh, directly back into the REIT. Whereas if you buy one house in one neighborhood and the economy tanks or whatever, you lose your money. With the REIT, however, because it's a total diversification, that doesn't happen. You are literally not subject to one um, one bad economy in one corner of the world or, or, or whatever. So once again, total diversification. In closing, everybody, I'll say this. Uh, REITs have been an amazing addition to my wife and to my portfolio for Charles Schwab and for Fidelity, okay? So I want you guys to do your research or whatever. Uh, as I said earlier, my wife and I, we prefer to invest in total REITs or whatever that average roughly 15% returns over a 15-year period and they give dividends of over 5%. But do your own research. If you want to invest in healthcare, you can do that. If you want to invest in hospitals, you can do that. If you want to invest in data centers, you can do that. If you want to invest 
in our real estate. Um, if you want to invest in residential properties or commercial properties, there are REITs for that. But REITs, people are a great way to diversify your portfolio and to build generational wealth. And that's something I know everybody listening to my channel wants to do. Everybody wants to build generational wealth, okay? Lastly, everybody, just so you know, my wife and I, we are long-term investors. Therefore, we don't basically do this thing where we jump in the stock market and we jump out. We don't do that. We invest our money and we keep it there for decades. Um, also, I'll say this. I do not recommend day trading or trying to beat the stock market um, because as they say in finance, the best investors are the ones that are dead. And the reason why is because they don't buy or sell stock. With that, everybody, once again, it's your boy, Chris. Uh, this channel is all about making money. It's all about saving money. It's all about building generational wealth. And it's all about financially emancipating yourself from generational poverty, okay? Please follow me um, on Instagram at the real underscore financial patient. My Facebook page is financial patient. You can also check out some of my digital, my e-products below as well. I have a financial blog that's going to be coming out soon. And uh, additionally, everybody, you can also book a session with me if you uh, want some advice about uh, and some consulting about finance, okay? So please like, please comment, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the uh, notification button so you know I'm dropping free content. And uh, take it easy, everybody. It's your boy, Chris. I'm out. Peace. Peace.